From postcards to drones, a lot has changed over the last hundred years. Tonight, we want to introduce you to a Webster city man who has spent much of the year documenting how the city has developed. Webster City, Iowa. This is where I grew up. This is where we've raised our family. Kent Bailey still calls it home. I've always had an interest in Webster City history. And earlier this year, a local historian had an idea. Hey, I have this bird's eye view uh, uh, a postcard from 1910. Wouldn't it be neat if you could recreate that and see what it looks like today with your drone? So Bailey, of course, said yes. We put the drone up and uh, took a picture of that intersection. And then when you compare them side by side, it's, it's very interesting to see how things have changed in a hundred plus years. He didn't stop there. There are lots of old postcards, lots of old images. Um, from 160 plus years of history here in Webster City. Those images now part of the Webster City Postcard Project, helping revive some old stories and some old characters. He said that his name was Shiloh and that he had been a drummer boy uh, in the Battle of Shiloh from the Civil War. Bailey recounting that Shiloh built a cabin on an island along the Boone River. As you can see in the old postcard and the old images, it was there. And the town adopted him and uh, they, they looked over him and they took care of him. Now that landscape along the river and across the city has changed. And to just realize how many unbelievable things have happened over the years how many wonderful structures we've had and, and still have. And like those old structures that still stand, Bailey hopes his project will too. In a way, I, I hope that this project is something that in 50 years, someone will look back and say, oh, hey, look what they did back in 2021. Um, now let's see how things have changed again in 50 or 75 or 100 years.